Speed over ground is the speed of the ship with respect to the land or any other fixed object, such as buoys. Speed through water is the speed of the ship with respect to the water or anything floating on water. Let us understand this with three scenarios. First scenario. There is no wind and no current. Ship's GPS is showing speed of 10 knots. Imagine. The ship is passing near to a land and there is a boat near to the land which is not moving. In one hour, ship will cover 10 nautical miles with respect to the land, as well as to the floating boat. This is because, the boat will maintain its position, as there is no wind or current. So in first scenario, speed over ground and speed over water is same, that is, 10 knots. In second scenario, all other conditions being same, but now we have two knots current from ahead. Now the ship starts moving at the speed of 10 knots. In this case, ship will only cover 8 nautical miles in one hour, because of adverse current. So when measured from land, vessel has only moved 8 nautical miles. So the speed over ground will be 8 knots. Because of 2 knots ahead current, the boat will move 2 nautical miles away from the ship. The distance covered by ship with respect to floating boat will be 10 nautical miles. So the speed through water will be 10 knots. In third scenario, all other conditions being same, but now we have two knots current from astern. Now the ship starts moving at the speed of 10 knots. In this case, ship will cover 12 nautical miles in one hour because of favorable current. When measured from land, vessel has moved 12 nautical miles. So the speed over ground will be 12 knots. Because of 2 knots current, the boat would move 2 nautical miles in the direction of the ship. The distance covered by ship with respect to floating boat will still be 10 nautical miles. So the speed over water will still be 10 knots.